the stars of the Hunger Games prequel welcomed the end of a four month long Hollywood actors strike on Thursday. as they walked the red carpet at the film's world premiere in london the sag after a union reached a tentative agreement with major studios on wednesday to resolve the second of two strikes that had rocked the entertainment industry as writers and performers demanded higher pay in the streaming tv era The Hunger Games The Blood of Songbirds and Snakes set 64 years before the film's starring Jennifer Lawrence and which follows the rise of tyrannical president of Panem had been offered a waiver allowing cast members to promote it during the strike I already woke up feeling positive and then I saw the news Tom who plays the young snow in the new film set It was kind of a double whammy I already woke up feeling positive and then I saw the news and I was like what this is a great day and it was sunny in London which never happens so uh yeah all all good all round yeah It feel pretty terrific said Joe Shenders who plays Snow's friend It feels it feels pretty terrific at first of all for it to be you know the premiere after so much time you know putting this all together working really really hard uh over the summer last year and and now to be here it's i mean it's really incredible and for it to happen on a day with with other really good news is good you know i know a lot of people who are ready to get back to work i'm ready to get back to work so yeah i mean i mean it's great you know we we started to get news last night which is great um you know for some of us i'm just happy i'm happy for all the people that fought so hard to get what they needed and deserved I'm really happy that the people that have been sort of sidelined and out of work because of the work stoppage are going to be able to go back to work and earn a living again. Uh but I'm also selfishly I'm like really happy for our young cast specifically that they can come out and celebrate a movie that they worked so hard for. Yeah, I mean I love I love red, doing red carpet. I always try to have fun with it. Um and uh and like also with like capital fashion and in this kind of like element of fashion with the Hunger Games it's even more to play with. So, it's fun. Sag after members walked off the job in July after negotiations over compensation and protections around the use of artificial intelligence. with the alliance of motion pictures and television producers collapsed like the other the hunger games films the blood of songbirds and snakes is a lions gate movie a studio which is not part of ptp in the film snow mentors and falls for lucy gray beard the female district 12 tribute during the 10th hunger games a gladiatorial contest that pits the oppressed against each other while the elite of the wealthy capital watch on Rachel who plays Lucy described the role as overwhelming in the best possible sense Oh it's wonderful there are so many wonderful fans here people who are are dressed like my character which is so wonderful and overwhelming in the best way I I'm just I'm so happy to be here I mean overwhelming in the best possible sense. I got to do every aspect of acting that I love to do. I got to do my own stunts. I got to hold live animals, sing, dance, cry, run for my life. It's 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 amazing. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you so much. much. Um I think I'm most excited uh, for the same reason that I'm excited about it, which is to see a new version of a character that we already think we know um and to kind of see parts of him that we don't know yet. Um I'm also excited for them to see Rachel's performance because I think she's astonishing in it. I mean I'm excited for them to meet the this whole group of new characters. I mean maybe they already have if they met the book but to meet them within the form of film it's so special. I remember that feeling after having read the books and then watching the movies when I was when I was young. So um I hope it's the same really exciting feeling. Yeah, I mean what I what I really like is it's it really is truly like a standalone film. I mean what we're hoping is you get new fans in, even some people who don't know the other books or movies and they can come in and sort of fresh and have this great experience for the fans. I think what they're going to love is it's really a movie about origins. It's the origin of a young snow turning into the snow, the villain we know, but uh, the origin of the games, the origin of songs we know, the origins of named other names and relationships and dynamics and I think it's so wildly satisfying. 
for fans of the franchise. Yeah, um, it, it is really great. Uh, it's been nice to have kind of this source of comfort with me throughout the entire thing um, in Rachel. And uh, yeah, it's, it's great to be able to experience this a second time. It's, it's pretty crazy. Like the other movies, the prequel is based on a novel by Collins released in 2020. Thank you for watching this video. We hope you found it informative and enjoyable. If you liked it, please don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe to our channel for more content like this. Also, feel free to leave your comments or suggestions in the comment section below. We appreciate your feedback and look forward to hearing from you. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you in the next one.